Network insider Ian Rappaport reporting a trade between the Saints and the New York Jets where trade compensation will be sent in return for quarterback Teddy Bridgewater. So with no more Drew Brees leading the helm, there's a reason why the Saints made this trade with the Jets. Teddy Bridgewater looked very, very impressive in the preseason. Back from a horrific knee injury, he very well is in line to be the successor of Drew Brees in New Orleans to take over this high-powered offense. So we're using my Teddy Bridgewater for my rosters, which really is just the, whatever the Teddy Bridgewater is with an upgrade to his awareness and play action. He's a 79 I mean, I'm excited, man. Teddy Bridgewater was a guy when he was coming out of Louisville. I did not really buy into the hype. I thought he needed a lot more work. He was very, very rated. He was maybe like one of the most rated quarterbacks that had an average year at Louisville and a really, really bad offseason as he was preparing for the draft and kind of slipped. That's why the Vikings were able to get him. Uh, but, I mean, watching him in this preseason, coming out that knee injury, he looks like a brand-new quarterback. And I think things could get very interesting when it comes time for Drew Brees to hang them up in, in terms of the Saints maybe you know, not having to draft for another quarterback or look for that future pipeline. They don't have to rely on Taysom Hill. I think Teddy Bridgewater, as the quarterback of the Saints, is going to be pretty goddamn fun. So that's what we're going to find out today. We have Teddy Bridgewater. I think he's on a four-year deal right now with the Saints. You've got to do that because if not, for whatever reason, the game never resigns you. Let's see what we can do with Teddy. He's 25. I mean, it does feel like he's been around the league for quite some time, but he's only 25. So uh, let's get into it, and let's see if we can bring the city of New Orleans a second Super Bowl. So as we begin our first season, our season goal for Teddy. Drew Brees has retired. He's now the lead dog. I feel like 20... Eh, you know what? Let's look for 25 touchdowns. I think 25 touchdowns in this high-powered offense is a good starting point for Mr. Bridgewater. All right on. 10 and 6. Wildcard berth for old Theodore. And his first season as a starter here for the Saints. Four upgrades. Very nice. I think we're already in 80 overall. Uh, second in the NFC South behind the 14 and 2 Atlanta Falcons. Look at Teddy's stats. Not, whoa, 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 whoa. Where, where does that rank him? Fifth in the NFL in passing touchdowns. 13th in passing yards. Almost 3,900 passing yards. 31 TDs. 11 picks. Good year from Alvin Kamara here. And of course, you know, even though. Teddy's not a scrambling quarterback. You know, he, he, he probably, in real life, he'd probably get around like 200 rushing yards. You can extend the play, but quarterbacks just don't run for whatever reason. Uh, favorite target was Ted Ginn. A little split between Ted Ginn and Michael Thomas. Whatever. It's all good. Where does he, does he get an uh, honorable mention in the MVP race? He does. I mean, how many times have we seen? over Matt, This year in Madden 18, like, it always seems like freaking, what's his name? Dude in the uh, Colts. Colts backup. Jacoby Brissett always goes to the Saints. He's always in the MVP race. Whoever is the Saints quarterback, it's just a unbelievably quarterback-friendly scheme. Hey, we'll take it, man. We got this run here. I'll tell you right now, we usually don't play gameplay in year one because it's going to be four years. Uh, I think it's four years. Can I see his contract? Can I? Is there any way to, like, let's see this. Salaries, maybe? How many years do we got here? Oh, we got five years. All right, so we have a five-year rebuild here with Mr. Theodore. Usually, we don't start playing until, like, year three. I'll tell you right now, if we make the Super Bowl at any point before that, we'll, we'll get him in here. But let's look at upgrading Mr. Bridgewater right now. I feel like when we got the, the very generous four, we more so get him to be a scheme fitter. Try our best to make him a scheme fit for Sean Payton. Because I do... Oh, fuck, I just spent that point for no reason. Uh, ideally, you know, what we want to make him so he can be best utilized in this scheme and make him a field general. You know, that's something that's like a coming of age thing in the NFL, becoming that field general and getting the respect of your teammates. It's got to take him a little bit. So after all those skill points, he's now an 81 field general, probably two skill points away from being a perfect scheme fit for Mr. And he got the star dev. Look at that. How do I see that? You got the Pro Bowl. He straight up just made the Pro Bowl and got a star dev. Awesome. That's awesome. That, that kind of explains why he had plus four. All right. This rebuild, or career revival, whatever you want to call it, could not have started off on a better foot. Let's get into these playoff games. And in the Saints-Rams, look at that. Saints move on 37-31. Teddy Bridgewater gets his first playoff victory. Like was he, Teddy was the quarterback for the Vikings win. Uh, that dude missed like the 10-yard kick, right? In that ice bowl. Whatever, man. Look at Teddy. 251 yards, two passing touchdowns, no turnovers. A very clean game. Kamara took over as well. Nice little two-headed running back attack with him and Ingram. As I think we are looking like legitimate Super Bowl contenders, which they should. They have a Super Bowl contender roster. So now we're going to find out who the best team in the NFC South is as we take on the 14-2 Falcons. Oh, that's brutal. 
That is a brutal loss. One point loss. 21 to 20. We got that. We're settling for field goals, and they were getting touchdowns. Teddy Bridgewater on the day clean again. 244 yards, a touchdown. Uh, run game wasn't as effective, but yeah, it was a close matchup. A close matchup. Their tight end had a big game. Uh, defensively, I mean, who got our one pick? The turnover was Ken Crawley. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it was something. It was a good start. You know, I don't think many Saint fans are going to assume that the transition year after Drew Brees' retirement is going to make them, you know, a game away from the NFC Championship. I think they're expecting a little bit of a down curve. So, could have been a lot worse. We got the star dev or Teddy, which is going to make this rebuild overpowered. If we didn't get that star dev, we're stuck with normal or quick dev. We might finish with, like, you know, he was he starting at 79. We might finish with, like, an 85, 86 quarterback. In fact, we got that star dev. There's a legit shot that by, when all is said and done, Teddy Bridgewater is going to be in the high 90s, if not a 99. So this is going to be cheesy as shit. we got to make the most of it, though, and win some Super Bowls. So let's get into year two. All right, as we get ready for year two, I always, something that I want to check now is see maybe changes that we've had uh, in our team. Because I know, like, you know, usually Ingram uh, hits free agency, so... Uh, I don't know if there's going to be any big name changes. We do know Teddy's up to an 84. Uh, we got Kamara. We brought in Jonathan Stewart. So Jonathan Stewart's a new player. We got a guy, a straight-up named Margarito Ganaway from Mount Union. So he's pretty much... Who went? To, who else went to Mount Union? Is that Pierre Garçon? I want to guess. Someone like that. Uh, let's see. Any more? Just to see, Let's just look and see if there's any new stars. I mean, obviously, you just want to kind of focus on... The offense, because that's all that matters for the rebuild. But, you know, you never want to, sometimes you want to peek on the defense. And we brought in Jalen Watkins. So we brought in Jalen Watkins, and we straight up drafted a dude named Margarito and Jonathan Stewart. So not the best of off seasons. Don't matter. We still got Teddy. He's still on fire. Seeing what he did last year. You know what? We'll say, uh, we'll say 30 touchdowns. We'll say we'll hit 30 touchdowns and get him into a 90 overall and scheme fit by season's end. And hopefully another playoff appearance. Oh, okay. We were one and six, and then we won nine in a row to come ten and six and make the playoffs. And we are taking on the eleven and five Falcons, a rematch. Cool, beautiful. Uh, we spent our XP with Teddy's up to a ninety-one. If we didn't have this start, man, if we didn't have the star dev for Teddy, things wouldn't nearly be as fun as what they are. We got plus eighteen upgrades throughout the season. I mean, it would be the Saints to fall ass backwards once Drew Brees retires to get the Teddy Bridgewater that we all thought he was going to be from Louisville. Uh, but I mean, good for them. Uh, second in the NFC South behind the 11-5 Falcons. At least we can find out right away, quick and early, who the best team in the NFC South was this year. Teddy Bridgewater on the season, 30, we'll round that up to 4,000 passing yards. 33 TDs and 8 picks, so that was, we, we met our goal. That's one of the few times we actually meet our goal that we set here in career modes. I think it was 30 touchdowns. Uh, Kamara had a dominant year. Michael Thomas, good year. Traquan Smith emerging as one of his favorite targets. Very nice. Yearly awards. MVP. Kamara at 5. Teddy Bridgewater at 10. Oh, come on. I thought for every good quarterback, there's a good running back behind him. Not the opposite way around. Uh, what about best quarterback? Do we get best offensive player of the year a little bit better? No. Best quarterback. Oh, come on. I'll go pound, Sam. We're going to find out right away who the best quarterback is. Okay? Okay? Let's do it. We've got this game against the Falcons. Come on, Sim Gods. Give us a win. Ah. <sighs> Another close loss. Lost by a field goal to Atlanta Falcons, 17 to 14. Teddy Bridgewater, out. I don't know. I don't know if I can see out dueled Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan had a lot more yards, but he had more touchdowns. Put up more points than Matt Ryan did. Uh, man, what the hell? What? How do we lose this game? I should have known. We lost this game because the Falcons had Tom Savage. If this video gets. 300 likes, I will do a Tom... 500 likes. 500 likes in this video, and I will do a Tom Savage career mode. For all the OGs that remember Madden 17 livestream pink slip series, 500 likes, and I will unleash Tom Savage on everyone, okay? That makes sense. I don't even, know, I don't even look any further than that. They have Tom Savage. He got a terrifying rushing touchdown that set the tone of this game. We didn't stand a chance. Let's get into year three. Year three, it's a big year for Teddy. We're going to go, we have the new, the new standard is 30 passing touchdowns in a single season. But two straight playoff losses to the Falcons. I actually kind of want the Falcons to make it next year. This year, sorry. It would be next year because it's the playoffs. Because we, we just need to do right. We need to do right. We got to beat them. We got to 
you know, we got to win the Super Bowl, okay? If we don't win the Super Bowl, it doesn't matter if we make Teddy Bridgewater, who's sitting at a 92. It doesn't matter if we make him into a freak monster, the next great Hall of Fame type quarterback. You don't have a Super Bowl, you're just Dan Marino. And you want to be, you know, you're living in Drew Brees' shadows. Do you want to be Teddy Bridgewater and then Drew Brees? Well, here's where you do it. Year three, it starts. Playoff run, let's go. Oh, and that's ugly. But it's still three straight playoff appearances. And we're playing the team that just beat us in Week 17, 28, 20. And then the Green Bay Packers got to do better. We got plus three to improve Teddy Bridgewater. Again, the damn Falcons are the leaders of the NFC South. Teddy Bridgewater on the season. 4,000 passing yards, 31 touchdowns, six picks. So, again, meeting our season goal. Uh, Kamara's not as hot, not as fire as he was a year before. Cameron Meredith, nice year. Michael Thomas, not bad. Oh, come on, Trey Quan, do better. Kamara's a monster, I guess, when you look at total yardage. Yearly awards. No, oh, disrespectful. Wait, wait, wait. Did they go undefeated? Sick. Okay, 16 0 undefeated Rams. Okay, that's interesting. All right, that's interesting. Let's see if we can take them on. If I'll tell you, if we win this game, we have an opportunity to play a 16 0 team. I will be getting in. All right, let's see if we can make Teddy. I mean, he's going to just keep developing. But let's see if we can actually make him a scheme fit before he breaks that 99 threshold, which I think it's not going to happen. Don't matter. Once you hit 99, scheme fit don't matter. You're scheme fit for everyone. But a 95 for Mr. Bridgewater. He's been simply outstanding so far since we... Let's look at his stats, man. Since he's come to Nolens. 95 touchdowns in three seasons. Good God. I think, I think if you throw 95 touchdowns in three seasons, 95 overall, fair. You know, an overall for every touchdown you throw. So... Let's, we got this game against the Packers. It's only year three, so we don't really need to worry about getting in, getting some game action. You gotta see your game play sooner or later. I actually kind of really want to play with Teddy. Um, so let's hope we can get a win and take on maybe this undefeated Rams team or this Falcons team that's been our Achilles heel. I will play either one. Or we could, you know, just lose to the Packers by the same score we lost to them in week 17, 28 to 21. Aaron Rodgers went off, 245, four touchdowns, no picks. Teddy Bridgewater didn't have a bad game. But could not engage and, you know, hang with Rodgers in a shooter. Our defense did not help us out. Don't know why, Marshawn. Lattimore, come on. Only a 99. I believe we have a couple 99s by this point. Usually, Marshawn Lattimore, Marcus Williams, Cameron Jordan, they're high up there in the overalls. They, they fell flat, man. That's embarrassing. Even though that 9-6-1 record, I mean, we didn't have a really legit shot. Uh, but if we would have won, look at that. We would have took on the Rams, the undefeated team, which would have been kind of fun. So, uh... You know, if we win a Super Bowl with RG3, we can win one with Teddy Bridgewater. I'm confident in that. So let's get into year four. You get your gameplay eventually. I want to play with RG3. I think, or not RG3. I want to play with Teddy Bridgewater. I think that's going to be really, really fun. So hopefully that comes next year. We're here. Year four. All right. Uh, season, I mean, I, we're, we're just, we're, we're doing good. We are doing good with this 30 touchdown in the year. I'm taking the XP. Gets me at least one skill point almost, feels like. Uh, but let's see what our team done. What has this GM, this front office done to help out Teddy Bridgewater? Probably not much. Uh, we got some 99s for sure. Lattimore, Williams, Kamara, Thomas is close. Uh, all right, so we brought in Geno Smith. Cool, that's a big help. We got Patrick. We got Margarito still here. No no big name. We have, we've just ignored the tight end spot. Armstead, all of our offensive linemen guys are regressing outside of Ramchick. Who we saw? We got Mel we signed Melvin Ingram. No, I don't need him. Don't need him at all. We've signed... Well, this guy actually looks pretty nice. Bias. Nice little rookie. Um, we, we keep we keep playing with fire here, but only having four corners. Bold strategy. We signed Devin McCourty. So we've signed Devin McCourty and Melvin Ingram as our and, and, and fucking Geno Smith. Are you kidding me? And you expect us to be able to beat, like, you know, the, the Rams that are going undefeated or the Falcons that are winning the division every year? Come on, man. AI, step it up. Get into year four. Boom. Scheme fit. It's a blackout right now because he's a goddamn scheme fit. Finally, 95 overall. Scheme fit. Look at this game. Midseason. 5-2 and two going up against the 6-1 and one Falcons for the lead in the NFC South. Feeling good about this one. I'm feeling good about this season. This could be the one, even with these dog shit free agency signings. All right. Year four. Another playoff appearance. Wild card. Heaven forbid we get a bye, but hey, we'll take the wild card. 10-6. Taking on the 10-6 Cardinals. And we got a home game. No XP for Teddy. Okay, he's starting to slow down a little bit. Peaking at 28. Not bad. 
We won the NFC South. Even though we're tied, we're one. We're first place, so we'll take that. Teddy Bridgewater on the year. 3,900 yards, 30 touchdowns, 14 picks. I'll take that. Kamara had a little bit of a bounce back year. Still no... I don't think we've had a 1,000-yard receiver yet. So Teddy likes to spread the ball around, eh? Huh? Wait a minute. What the fuck? That was Jacoby Brissett ahead of us. Don't think so. All right. Come on, Sim. Come on. Give me the win, Sim. All right. We lost again. Teddy is just not good in the playoffs, I guess. So hopefully we, when we actually get our hands on it, we can turn it around. 24-6 loss to the Arizona Cardinals. Teddy Bridgewater. He hasn't had a bad game, though. He hasn't gone off, but he hasn't, like, cost us and cost... Pretty lost the game for us with turnovers. 150 yards, touchdown. Uh, lost the duel here to Mr. Josh Rosen. David Johnson went off. Gilbert Andrews with two touchdowns. Cool. Change your name. All right, we got to take it to year five, where we can take over with Mr. Teddy Bridgewater. And now 29, Teddy Bridgewater, who actually we got a little plus one after that loss. We're at 96. Maybe we can hit 99 next season. Don't matter. Just make the playoffs so that we can try to win a Super Bowl with Mr. Teddy. All right, Teddy's talking on the phone. Hopefully a big free agency sign is going to help us win this year. Uh, telling his agent we're going to break 30 touchdowns again. We're, just gonna, you know, we're getting a little complacent with that, but it's fine. Let's see. Did we bring in anybody that can help us do so? I mean, we have a good team. Kamara's 99. Don't get me wrong, but maybe some fresh blood to, to shape things up could help us out here a little bit. In what world is Cam married at the 90? But I will take it. Our wide receiver course is pretty legit. More so, I just wanted a tight end. We needed a tight end. We got Josh Hill. Don't know much about him. At of Idaho State, probably more of a blocker. Uh, we got two, three, three all right pieces on the O line. All right. All right. I think I, I see us getting another wild card berth and uh, making a legit run. So let's do it, man. I'm excited to get my hands on Teddy Bridgewater. Not gonna lie, when I saw this screen, I thought we didn't even make the playoffs. But then I had to double check before we hit the record button. We won the NFC South with a 12 and 4 record. Finally, the Falcons can taste our dust. You know, we got a nice little one point upgrade here for Teddy right away to make him a whoa 98. It's a 97 with a 98 confidence boost. Okay. Teddy's feeling himself here a little bit. Teddy Bridge. Oh, there we go. 4,300 passing yards, 39 touchdowns, 8 picks. I mean, you know, not that much better than any season we've had, but definitely his best statistical season so far. Kamara took a little bit of a step back, but obviously we've, you know, threw the ball a little bit more. Finally, a 1,000-yard receiver, Michael Thomas, 1,200 yards, 11 TDs. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. What about yearly awards? MVP? Ah, third place, Teddy Bridgewater. Parker Ryan, two first names, change it. Did we get, say, offensive player? Oh, come on. Quarterback of the year. Oh, fuck. This guy could suck a dick. Parker Ryan. Let's see. What What did Parker Ryan do compared to Teddy Bridgewater? All right. I stand corrected. Stand corrected. Good season. All right. So we got that first round by Chiefs. Let's see who we are taking on in the NFC Divisional Round. And it is the 10-6 and six at one point undefeated LA Rams. We finally get to you know, get, our, get our hands on Teddy Bridgewater. Keep it PG, C4. Let's get into it. Oh, my God. What are these team overalls? Jesus. Oh, Teddy. Oh, Teddy. First pass. And it's a Samson Evilcom, too. He's like a glorified edge rusher. I never respected quarterbacks that wore two gloves. Teddy got to change my opinion on that. The turnaround here. Can't be playing with that shit. Sloppy, Ted. Third and a mile. We got uh, Ganaway. Is that just me or does the W and his last name look bigger than the rest? Don't matter. I'm going to go to him. Don't matter. Going to go to him for a touchdown. Is it, that's, uh, what do you call it? Is that guy's name like Margarito? Let's go Margarita Town. Jimmy Buffett. Let's go. I'll take that to the house. 87. 87 almost messed that up. But, you know. Took it in because he knew Teddy was going to take off both of them gloves and whoop that ass if he didn't get in there. Nice little slant. Patrick probably has two first names because that's all these random generated players do, but don't matter. Got that two touchdowns entering halftime. Second and goal on the five. We got our three-point lead, I guess. Uh, let's just get a touchdown so we don't have to deal with this nonsense. Anyone want to get open? Oh, Teddy just shoulder shrugs that dude. All right, Ted. Now we're playing with fire, but I'm going to let 
Alvin Kamara, do his damn job. He's pretty much the perfect running back to do a C4 special. Let's go, young lad. Fuck. Okay, it's in the computer's hands now. Oh, thank God. Thank God we won. Look at look at him with the goddamn this doing like the inverse point shaving and get look at your weird back. What the he's like a goddamn the chick from the ring. That's how he's getting one extra point added on there. Oh, that was creepy. Alright, whatever, man. Don't matter. We're moving on. We are moving on to the NFC Championship game. Wasn't sexy, but 17 to 11. Look at that defense holding Goff to 99 yards. We got the job done. We're moving on. Oh, Teddy's cooking. Opening drive. Bears in the NFC Championship game. I think we're 4-4 for 80-some yards. Teddy is... Oh, my God. Is there anything more annoying? Okay, it's Snacks Harrison. He's a monster. Anything more annoying than that sack? I know I'm not the only one that gets that sack. We're literally just like, okay, hut the ball and sacked. Hack, uh, hut the ball and locked into a sack animation. All right, let's see if we can hit Jeff Swain. This guy got to have a breakout game. I don't even think we can lead him, but... Oh, we can! The dude with the mullet! With the opening drive touchdown. We're wearing them all whites because Teddy's trying to stay clean. Let's get the job done here at Soldier Field. Oh, let's go. That's, that's a touchdown right there, man. Push him in, Teddy. Right now, though, Teddy's on fire. I think we're 88, 9 or 9, something like that. 145 yards. Even though it's a 7-7 ball game, looks close on paper. We are executing like a monster. We're going to go back to Swaim here. We got the chemistry. We're going to Swaim. There you go. Easy touchdown. I think Teddy, that made some 9 and 9, 10 to 10. As we extend our lead, we get that touchdown back. Oh, let's go! Run, 81. Teddy Bridgewater, that 13 to 13, 230 yards. It's not like I'm playing on all rookie. The last game I had picks and shit. I couldn't complete a pass to save my life for the first half. It's just vibing. We're vibing right now. First and goal on the eight. Still got two timeouts. We're Swain. Of course, Swain's not out there. All right, see so what we can do. Ganaway. Oh. Oh, no. 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 Teddy. Teddy. You know, I thought that fumble counted. 16 to 16, 321. Two touchdowns for Mr. Bridgewater. I'm not going to jinx it now. We're not going to get overconfident. Last time we did that, it was a turnover. All right. I actually like Alvin Kamara out the backfield here. Oh my god. I'm not gonna lie. I have actually eaten two sacks. I'm actually trying not to throw in completions I've eaten two sacks where I probably could have thrown it away. It's my video. I can do what I want Second to go on the 18 Get Cam Meredith run that slant. I like to swim here a lot though. Swim has been getting open Or oh my god. Okay, that one there was just a coverage sack as we're just backing our way out of field goal range Go something sexy here. Mid attack. I really do like this play. Really good for your tight ends to get open. We'll have Thomas attack him deep. Let's go. Hey, we'll go to the fullback. Get the fullback in as we're. I want to get 20 for 20. I don't know what the record is. I, wanna, I think it's 23. 23 23. I think it might have actually been Drew Brees. So how fitting if we could try to break that with Teddy. Oh, it's so frustrating. So frustrating. Found out the found out it's 25 completions is the goal we gotta try to get, but uh these fumbles are annoying. Just hit the fucking hole, man. It's a first down. So embarrassing. Like, how does this get released? It's every year. The AI running in career mode is pathetic. Every year, man, same shit. All right, see if we can get the... D oh, fucking awesome. Because this game is incapable of having a proper running attack, we're going to lose. Try some Hail Mary. Ball. Oh, that's so frustrating. It's a 99 running back, and he doesn't hit the open hole to end the game. Nothing you can do about it, man. Who wants it? Let's just eat the fucking sack. Gives a shit. 
Like I, that's the number one thing. I like, uh, like running back career modes aren't bad because I'm gonna be the running back. I don't have to worry about any of that bullshit. But doing quarterbacks, like you can't have a run game. You simply cannot run the ball. You have to commit to doing what we did with Teddy Bridgewater and hoping to God you can get the one in a hundred games where you can complete 23 of 23 straight passes. Did you make that catch? Oh, shit. All right. Hey, we have an opportunity here. Oh, it's so frustrating, man. Super fun video ruined by Madden. 99 overall running back. Just fucking tries to hit a spin move or whatever instead of going straight. We might got something here if he hits the jump ball. P.I.? No, all right, cool. Uh, oh, that's the end of the Teddy Bridgewater rebuild. I wish we had a run game. We would have been able to have a chance at a Super Bowl, but Madden's got a Madden. So thank you guys for tuning in to the career mode of Teddy Bridgewater. All in all, man, we did make him the successor to Drew Brees. Uh, had some memorable moments. You know, 30-plus touchdowns every year that we had him. And uh, if it wasn't for Madden's run game, we probably would have had a chance of winning a Super Bowl. So, ah, man, haven't had, a, haven't had a good string of videos here. So I'm just going to not say anything I regret. I'm just going to, you know, log off so thank you guys for watching uh if it's your first time stopping by don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button if you have any suggestions for more career modes that you want to see let me know in the comment section below and i'll catch you guys in the next one later fucking fuck man Money I'm spending, I'm out and I'm shopping You talking that shit, when you talking and talking Look at my options, look at me dropping Ass in the game, like who are you stopping? Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never Not me, not me, not never I'm way too